and there are other people who use Christianity in the, in the ways of, you know, basically, um, in the ways of twisting their own agenda. You know what I mean? They'll use the Bible, you know, and, and use that as an excuse to kill people and, you know, murder people and be a pedophile and molest children. So every religion, you know, everything out here has its good and bad points, okay? So this is not a video to, like, knock, you know, people who practice that because I understand, you know, some people practice it for the good and other people practice it, you know, for the dark arts. And one thing I noticed is that when Star Marie was talking about it, she kept trying to play dumb. It was something about the way she said it that just didn't sit well with me, that I knew this girl knew more than what she was letting on. Go ahead and check this out. I met her on, on 40, 40th Street. Okay. It was a strip club that I worked at, and how I met her was her girlfriend, who was um, into Brujeria, Santeria, and all the stuff that she does with her little red and her blues and the little signs that she puts up. She has a girlfriend that's into that that worked at the strip club that I was working at. I told Are we her, talking about hair or no uh Santeria? It's a I've uh, never heard of that. I'm so ignorant okay. when it comes to that stuff. <laughs> it's a it's a Spanish um I wouldn't say because I don't want to offend my Spanish no, people out there. I, I do live in Central America and I live in Latin country a, a lot of times out of the year, so I don't want to offend any of them. But it's um some type of they it, they we for lack of better words voodoo because I don't I don't oh do shit so Santeria. her friend was into like voodoo. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So go ahead. Keep going. Let's okay. Start. But no offense to anybody out there who's listening because I'm not really familiar with that kind of lifestyle. However. All right. So you guys just saw her playing dumb, playing crazy, playing coy. I really don't know about that. Meanwhile, I'm known deep down inside she's running with particular circles. If you go onto her Facebook page before she deleted a lot of stuff, there was a lot of things on her Facebook page where she was talking about Orishas and different gods and, you know, posting different deities. A lot of these deities are deities that people worship in Santeria. So that right there let me know that she was full of shit. But again, I didn't want to make the original video esoterical, okay? So these are some of the things that were posted on her page. Check this out. <laughs> Alright, so you guys just saw that. So another thing that was bothering me is that I felt like this girl was straight attacking me spiritually. It was a lot of things that was there was a lot of things that were going on even when I was trying to, you know, get, you know, the, the information together to put the video together. It's like she did not want the truth coming out. I was getting sick. I was taking a bunch of medicine. It was draining me. It was doing a lot to me because, again, when you're somebody who seeks the truth, when you're somebody who seeks to be fair, you know what I mean, and, like, really look into stuff, and you just see a blatant lie, it just starts to take a toll on you. And one thing I did learn from people who contact me, several different spiritual people who contacted me, they taught me a new word that I had no idea. I'd never heard of this word before, but they told me that I'm an empath, okay? Okay. And an empath is somebody who's just extremely empathetic. You know, I just, I draw certain people to me. And unfortunately, because of my empathetic nature, people can take advantage of that. Let's just say that. So I just learned a lot about myself, even with this whole story, okay? Nothing new. Always throw in shade and hate. Yo, what's the real excuse? With these nursery sounding rhymes sounding like Dr. Seuss. If I send this bitch to ER, she fuck the doctor too. Yo, I ain't crazy. How these hoes get mad? Hey, my beautiful soul babies out there. This is your girl, Nicole Tyler, with an exclusive. I just saw the video of Lovely T talking about 
her experience since she's been going through some things since she debunked the Star Marie Tasha K infamous interview. Now, she is saying that she believes that Star Marie has put a spell on her and that she has been dealing with a lot of craziness, pain, uh, videos disappearing off of her phone and all kinds of stuff, a weird voice, a weird demonic voice coming through her computer. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that Star Marie has really put a spell a dark black magic spell on lovely t now i was going to do a video on this about about dark magic because i because i do believe in dark magic since um the young lady came out against uh, beyonce talking about dark magic and it is something that i really believe in because i have had weird dreams and seen witches and all kinds of crazy stuff going on went on with me throughout my life so i know that it is real that witchcraft is real and I really didn't know how, how to, you know, put it in my content form. <clears throat> but since um, my uh, one of my beautiful subscribers hit me up with this later on to later tonight, earlier tonight. And she told me, she said, you have to get over there to Lovely T. She's speaking some truth. And luckily, that's what I did. So um, you all got to excuse me. I'm in the bed actually <laughs> trying to go to sleep because I have to get up in the morning. But I want to know what you all think. Do y'all think what Lovely T is going through is real? I think that is real. And I just feel so sorry for Lovely T because she has been caught up in some type of dark, evil, scamorous web of lies and deceit. And I don't know how she's going to get out of it. But um, tell me what you all think about this, okay, you all? I'll talk to y'all later on today.